Hi everyone, so today we are going to create this aura flames in Blender using geometry nodes. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so open Mixamo, select any character on upload your character from here. Then search for any animation that you want. I am using a word cycle. This one. Make sure to check in place box and download this animation. Import that at BX file. After importing it, select your armature. Press S to scale and press 4 on your keyboard to scale it 4 times. Then add a cube. And open a new geometry node below. Geometry node editor. Select your arbiter. Come to timeline. And press Ctrl plus Tab to change the to change it to graph editor. Then Press A to select everything, then press Shift plus E on your keyboard and select Make Cyclic. <laughs> then select your tube, click on New. Then add a simulation node. Place it here. Press Ctrl and right click to cut this. Then, then plug the group input to simulation and this one go to output. Then come here and select the data surface. Then select your cube and come here. Click on this. Click on this icon to pin this window. Then come here and select this beta surface and drag and drop into our geometry node. Geometry node window. Then add a mesh to volume node. Geometry to mesh. Then add a distribute points on volume node. Set the density to 500 or 800. Then add a join geometry node in between the simulation nodes. Then well, I'll then plug the distribute points in volume node to geometry node, join geometry node. Condo objective for node and set, set it to relative. Then add a seal time node. Select the frames into seed. Then add a set point radius node. Add a store name attribute node. Then a name attribute node. And, and a math node. Plug the attribute to value 1 and plug the value to this value. Then come to name attribute mod. Plug the attribute to this radius. Then add a math range mod in between these two. In between these two nodes. Then come to math range node. Set the two maths to 0 and set to minimum 2.02. 80.0 then add a delete geometry node in between these two nodes. Then come to this named attribute node and click on click on this area and press L T. Then press enter to create a new attribute. Same here L T and enter. 
then add a compare node set uh, set it to equal instead of greater than and plus the result to selection then come to map range node and plug the result of map range node to this so map to compare nodes a value then add a set to pixel node and a noise texture node and vector map node Set the vector match node to subtract. Set the color to this value. Then plug the vector to this offset of set position node. Come here, change it to 40. Change the noise texture to 40. Set the scale value to 1 and all the other set the all other values to 0. Then add a scene time node. Or just duplicate it from here. Plug seconds to this the pew value and set this these values to 0.5. Then duplicate this set position node. If you don't want this cube in your scene, so just delete this. So now play the animation. As you can see, just set the set position value to 0.5. And if you want more variations of it, just play with the map range value. Play with the from from minimum value and the maximum value just like this. The two minimum and two max is basically the scale value, and the from minimum and from maximum is the length of our mesh. How wider it will go, as you can see here. It's it's going too far if I set this value to 2. This will come closer as you can see. So that's how we can create these all our flames in Blender. Okay, so now if you want to render these, just Come here to material properties, add a new material and add a set material node. Select that material from here. Select any color that you want from render engine. Set the render engine to cycles, device GPU compute as you want. Play the animation, add a camera. Add a light. Increase the strength value. Select the cube, come to material properties. Select the uh, emission color and increase the strength value. Then from here, set the two minimum value to 0 to. We'll make them more small. And now you can render E. And beautiful. So if you want these more glowing like just we can come to compositor check use nodes and add a blare node in between these two nodes 
set it to bloom and going to rendered mode then come here click on this icon then come to compositor and select always to, so to see the glow in view code as well play with the threshold so that's how we can create the aura planes in blender if you guys enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe see you guys in the next one bye bye